Good evening. A veteran justice campaigner who's helped overturn the convictions made in many high-profile court cases from the 1970s is claiming a nurse should be cleared of killing four elderly patients in Leeds. Paul May, who's based in York and campaigned for the release of the Birmingham Six, believes the convictions of Colin Norris in 2008 were unsafe. But police have always insisted they stopped a dangerous man who could have gone on killing. Our crime correspondent John Cundy has the story. Colin Norris, who's now 40, was a nurse at the Leeds General Infirmary and St James's Hospital when four women patients aged in their 70s and 80s died in hospital in 2002. None had been terminally ill at the time. After a long and complicated police investigation, Norris was convicted of the four killings, alleging he'd overdosed the patients with insulin. Norris strongly denied the accusations. Now, veteran justice campaigner Paul May is supporting Norris. Mr May helped campaign in the overturning of the convictions of Judith Ward for the M62 bus bombing near Bradford and those of the six wrongly jailed for the Birmingham pub bombings in the 70s. And he believes Colin Norris's convictions were unsafe. The jury uh, was uh, in the dark. Um, even the defence agreed uh, with the uh, prosecution um, case uh, at, um, at trial, and, um, but the research uh, basically destroys the evidence at trial. But at the time of Norris's convictions, the trial judge, Mr Justice Griffith, told him, You are, I have absolutely no doubt, a thoroughly evil and dangerous man. You are an arrogant and manipulative man with a real dislike of elderly patients. I suspect he had power, he had control, he had the means to do it, and he had the opportunity. The case has been with the Criminal Cases Review Commission for more than three years. A ruling is still awaited. We're convinced that uh, if the Court of Appeal looks at this case objectively, they will quash Colin's conviction and he will walk free. But for now, Colin Norris remains serving his 30-year jail sentence, convicted of the murders of the four elderly women and the attempted murder of a fifth. John Cundy, BBC Look North, Leeds.